Also launching on November 16th is Samuro Matt and Daryl Carr. And these are actually two very different games that play very differently from each other. And this is coming from the publisher Ion Game Design. But they actually run a really solid design contest that I've entered in a few times with some of my own designs. And it's just a great way for people to get feedback and learn about playtesting and blind playtesting and all these different stages of developing your board game. They've also published a few notable games like Stationfall and Dawn on Titan, which I know a lot of my friends are enjoying. I unfortunately haven't played them. For a board game content creator, I really need to find more time to play these games. But Samuro Matt is a one to five player co-op game where players are gonna be playing the role of different advisors trying to protect their empire from unrest, external attacks, natural disasters, and other threats. Each player is gonna have their own abilities and strengths, and they're gonna spend actions to play different action cards to move across the board and balance each region, balancing their military supply and religious needs. A few scenario cards will be drawn at the beginning of the game, which are gonna dictate the win conditions and the requirements that players are gonna to have to meet. And if players are able to do that, then they win the game. And then Derek Carr is gonna be the complete opposite of that, where players are playing competitively, and rather than advisors, they're gonna be provincial governors of different provinces, each running for presidency of Argentina in the middle of a political and economic crisis of 2001. And of course, any politician's goal is to win by proving that you are the least bad option and showing the incompetence of your opponents. And the game plays over a series of rounds, and each round has two phases, and during the first phase, players will be able to choose an action, like proposing a law, decrees, making debt payments or embezzlement funds, and then they'll be able to buy a card from the shared market. And then during the next phase, you're going to be playing sets of the cards that you've collected to perform different operations, lobby for different efforts, and create conflict with different establishments or bad campaigns with the press. And of course, the entire goal of this is to make sure all the provinces the other governors are running are full of as many conflicts and drama as possible. Of course, every other player is going to be trying to do this to you as well, so you're also going to have to have your hands full dealing with all those events and your failing economy. And to win the game you want to be the player with the most support at the end of the game. 